Hello and welcome to another episode of Local Expert Interviews. My name is Michael Grady and today we're going to be speaking with Dr. Peter Fedor of Los Angeles, California. Dr. Fedor is a board certified surgeon, plastic surgeon, and expert in the field of body sculpting. Dr. Fedor's skill and expertise in cosmetic surgery has been recognized not only in Los Angeles, but all over the world. Welcome, Dr. Fedor. Thank you very much, Michael. Dr. Fedor, please tell our viewers a little bit about yourself and your practice in Los Angeles. I practice plastic surgery. I'm board certified in Los Angeles and in Beverly Hills. I also teach at UCLA when I train residents in the field of plastic surgery. I also have a practice in Aspen, Colorado. So um, with all these practices and what I've been doing in plastic surgery in general, I have had a very satisfactory professional life and actually I served as president of our national society called the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery. So as the expert in body sculpting in Los Angeles, in this interview today we're going to be talking about buttock augmentation. So if you could tell our viewers a little bit about what exactly is buttock augmentation. Uh, basically, the word buttock augmentation, just like breast augmentation, stands for making the buttocks uh, more protruding, not necessarily sideways, but backwards and uh, from front to back. And patients who have a rather flat design to their buttocks, they, they, they developed and been born, oftentimes consult to get this uh, changed with a surgical approach. Dr. Fedor, is buttock augmentation a popular procedure in the United States? Not as popular in the United States as it is in some Latin American countries and a little bit in Europe also uh, more popular than in the United States. In the last few years, however, has been rising significantly. The number of cases we do is uh, a lot more than it used to be just a few years back. And some of us, including myself, probably do the bulk of these procedures because not all plastic surgeons feel comfortable and have a chance to be trained in this particular procedure. That's good information to know. Are there different surgical methods for buttock augmentation? Yes, there are. In essence, you can think of two different approaches. One is when you're taking fat from one part of the body and then very, very skillfully transfer it into the buttocks and of course is a sculpting procedure just like everything else we do and um, uh, this is one approach and obviously this approach does not apply to patients who do not have enough fatty tissue to take it away from one place and put it someplace else which ordinarily would be two for one but in these patients where there isn't enough donor fat fat to take from you use an implant, which is not all that different in technique from a, from a breast augmentation. But uh, the incision for introducing this implant is in between the right and left buttock, right in the center in that fold. So it's so hidden that it's for all practical purposes not visible even upon close scrutiny. So the two different procedures, one is fat transfer and the other is an implant, which one's more popular? Well, again, uh, those patients who have sufficient uh, fat for donor sites, I prefer to use their own tissue just as a general principle. But when they do not have it, then you have to go to an implant. In general, I do probably 8 out of 10 cases with using patients on fat and about two, maybe three in ten, we use an, an implant for the purposes of the augmentation. Once the procedure is completed then, are the results permanent? With both approaches, the results are permanent. Of course, with an implant, is an implant that's going to stay there permanently. The permanency of the fat transfer approach depends on the skill of the surgeon and to some smaller degree on the person that's receiving the transplant. Some patients have more of a tendency to absorb part of their own fatty tissue, in which case, in some instances, we go back 
and do a little more. In other words, they do not fully absorb it. They absorb, let's say, 20, 30 percent of them, of it. And then in, in those instances, we may need to do a touch-up operation. OK. So there's been a lot of information that we've seen on the internet and elsewhere, television, about a Brazilian butt lift. I, I'm, I'm assuming that's some sort of slang term for a procedure. Can you kind of talk our viewers through what exactly is a Brazilian butt lift? Well, basically, a Brazilian butt lift is more of a marketing term than anything else. And it does refer to the procedure where you take fat from one place and put it someplace else, meaning taking it from some parts of the body and put it into the buttock. This does not literally lift the buttocks, but it gives the impression, as any buttock augmentation does, that the buttocks are higher in the position because they are fuller, and that's just kind of a Im visual impression that one gets. So some people came up with this name, Brazilian butt lift, knowing that in Brazil, in general, patient, people have fairly attractive buttocks, and so they considered this to be maybe a marketing and attractive term for patients to latch onto. But it's nothing more than taking fat from other parts of the body and injecting it into the buttocks. So if someone was looking to reshape their buttocks, it's more important to actually speak to the physician than listen to the market. Absolutely. In every instance in aesthetic plastic surgery, patients have to do their due diligence to really tell apart what is marketing, what is potentially misleading, even if they read it, read it in ladies' magazines. They have to go and consult with properly trained board-certified plastic surgeons. At times, it does not hurt to get more than one opinion, see who they feel comfortable with. And in this way, they can serve themselves very, uh, uh, very much better than if they're being misled by information that is not correct. In my particular practice, about 50% of the operations we, we do, whether it's face, body, whatever it might be, are redo procedures. And the most common comment these patients come when they make them, they come in for consultation for operation that was done in some other practice, is I did not do sufficient research. So this is what patients come in, and that's the comment they make. I think that's good lesson for patients first time around to do the research appropriately and to use a great deal of due diligence in deciding what plastic surgeon they may end up eventually having the surgery with. Again, great information. And let's talk about your existing patients. The patients of your practice that actually have a buttocks augmentation procedure, are they pleased with the results? Our patients are ecstatically happy. I mean, you can imagine when you take somebody that has full waist and maybe a little bit heavier stomach than aesthetically would be most pleasing, you reduce these two areas, you take that same fat, and you skillfully insert it into buttocks, you make the buttocks symmetric, more protruding, and of better shape. It's a real total transformation. The patients are ecstatic with the results. On the other hand, patients that don't have enough fatty tissue, we may use an implant, and they also have great, great results. I invite uh, your audience to look at our website, and there will be some patients with uh, before and after pictures with either of the two approaches that are shown um, on the website. Dr. Fedor, could you please uh, tell our viewers exactly what is the URL for that website? It's pbfedormd. Dot com. P as in Peter, B as in boy, F O D O R M D dot com. Dr. Fedor, you've given our viewers a whole lot of really good information. I'd like to thank you for being on this interview. Thank you very much, Michael. I enjoyed it and have a good day. Again, my name is Michael Grady. This has been another episode of Local Expert Interviews. We've been interviewing Dr. Peter Fedor. And if any of our viewers would like to get more information from Dr. Fedor about buttock augmentation or any other procedure, please refer, refer to the phone number at the bottom of the screen. Thank you again, Dr. Fedor. Thank you.